G'day fishing legends, Cubits here and uh, today we're out at Kawong Bar again but we're out on the Dorado 2, uh, my offshore kayak because um, you know I just wanted to, last time we were out here um, I brought a mate with me and he used this kayak because we brought both the kayaks for us to use and I was kind of bummed I didn't get to use it because it's been a minute uh, I haven't been able to get out like to tuna season at all this year so uh, since moving back up to Brizzy, the ocean kayaks had a lot less use. Uh, but it's great out on lakes like this. Uh, it can cover ground so well. I mean, it does like 11 k's an hour, which is like, I don't know, 50% faster than my other kayak. So when you want to get from one end to another really quickly, it's the only way to go. Um, so we're out here, we're going to jig up some bass. I think they're sitting a bit deeper. Around that 6 meter mark is sort of where we were catching them last time in that storm. So we're going to throw some blades around, I think, maybe some uh, little hard bodies near the edges and see if there's any around there. And yeah, let's get into it and um, flog around on the, uh, on the big kayak. Alright buddy, uh, off you go. Oh, he's not big. He's just coming straight up. You got spunk, kid. Indeed, and I'll drop you off the side. Oh, you managed to get two trembles in your face. Uh, one. Hey, hey, hey. You almost got it, actually. Yep. Ah, uh, now I've got the front treble in you. Oops. There we go. One and two. Bye. In we go. And try that again. just a little bit too early it's just hit four and they're sitting up at five meters of water so they might be a little waiting for, uh, a little shy a little waiting for um, sunset to kick in it's been a very sunny day but we got one Get a few more as it gets a bit later. There you go. Not a great, not a great size, but an okay fish. And you can see I'm sitting at around that four, five meter mark at the moment. All right, what have you done here? Get your front treble. There we go. And then you get your back treble. There you go. Off you go, mate. <laughs>
There it goes. Oh man. That side. There we go. Oh, little Batty. He's swallowed that lure. One lure. There we go. On Bassie in the 30s. He's okay. Off you go, matey. He'll be fine. Alrighty. I'll chuck the lure. Well, I'm chucking that back. Back in that. Turn this rig around. We're in the big boat today, just for a bit of fun. All right. Just uh, tangle this guy. Pretty simple. Twisty. Sounds so crunchy. Yikes. Need to get that cleaned. Yeah, man. <laughs> Small fish. But he went for it, didn't he? First we're going to take the front travel off your face and then we're going to get the rear travel out your face. Off you go mate. This side, mate. What have you done here? There we go. Off you go. Oops, drop that back in there. Few little, they only have a little bass off here, but up in the shallows, the new flooded area. I've seen to find a couple. Five past five.
Ooh, got a bump. I keep slow rolling. All the way into the front. There we go. I knew he was following it. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, little fella. Hey, settle down. I'll just do yeah. Do the hook on this side. Uh, do. Come on. That's the opposite of better. There we go. Yep. Just pulled him up on this ledge here. Where it comes up from 10 metres to 5 metres. Saw a little pop of bait. And then boom, we were on. Ooh, whoa. He's not too bad. This is on my 3 to 5 kilo rod. Just get this out. Get that one out of the way. There we go. Jeez, how tight is my drag? No, that's not that bad. Get. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. There we go. Do you miss not now? See, there they are. Sitting at the sledge here, just where it drops off. <sighs> we caught the uh, caught a couple of bass here last time I was out as well. So, and he's a just under 40, like a 39. All right, let's uh, flip him over, bring him up. Hey, there we go. Oh uh, yeah, I swear the. Uh, Fish have been super keen today. Look at this guy, he's gone and swallowed the whole bloody thing. Peekaboo. We got a rare treble in here now we're gonna find. Oh yeah, I see, it's just one treble point in the top of his palette. We're just gonna push the whole hook down. There we go. Extract it. Get a look at you. He's a pretty fat little 40, or 39-ish. Not bad, not a bad bassy. Get a look at that. All right, off you go, mate. Off like a shot. Come here. Plenty. Get to the bottom. Check that drag. Coming onto him again. Just cast straight back up onto him. You just hop the switchblade down the bank. And we're onto a, another pretty good fish. Another pretty good fish. I'm just gonna jack him up. I think I got 12 pound later on. And a three to five kilo rod, so he's mine. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. yeah, look, they're all cruising around down here in nine meters of water. There we go. Yep, about the same as the last one, I think. Oh, hooked in the chin. Let's just uh, hook them out that way. There we go. Oops. Yeah. There we go. Oh, he's bigger. He's. Let's drop my. Drop my lure, I think. Pop him out. Grab that. There we go. The old switch blade. Down you go. Okay. Um, and he is 50 to 45. Uh, He's just over 40 centimetres, this one is about 42. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a bigger, he's a bigger fella. Here we go. Oh, yeah. What a good bass. Get a bit of light on him. Not bad. Hey, mate. <laughs> All right, off you go. Oh, yeah. Now I'm all wet. Alright, let's go. 